You okay, Ralphie? Nothing to worry about, folks. All part of the show. Remember, safety first. Crocs? Just leave me alone. What? This might be a world record. You can always count on Rocky to help out. How many ammo crackers can he eat? Good job. The gold mine. And I got the shaft. Off brand glass plugs. If it's good enough for baby ducks. Hey, do it. How's the seat fold up? He's always sleeping outside. It's never safe to bring my wife into Lowe's. Just eating paint chips. Golly, look at that stomp she's got. That's pretty good, huh? This is not okay. Well, I see some worms. Hopefully there's no S and A K E's in here. Kinda wanna keep it now. Just a little nibble. Oh, it's... wash it off with the but... worm. What is under there? Drive-in picture show. You ruined that door panel. That was a good salvageable door panel. <laughs> Ooh, it's a skull. That's the rest of his body, isn't it? That was my favorite casing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, they're good. Okay. She's happy as a pig in mud. No way, there's a <gasps> snake. What, are you gonna tame it? What are you doing? You're gonna rack us. All the cool kids are doing it. <clears throat> she's good girl. You big girl. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you already filming? <laughs> You're already outtakes, filming? I'm doing outtakes. Well, we're back here. We got the 64 dart station wagon that all you guys love. The first video now has I think right at a million views. I can't believe it. It's been one of our most successful videos. So everybody loves this little thing. And today, uh, we're going to clean this thing up. Ralphie wants to start with pressure washing. That's what I, I don't like to do it that way. I like to clean the inside out, then get the pressure washing big reveal. But he wants to do pressure washing first, so I guess that's what we're going to do. This thing, if you hadn't seen it, we got this thing up in the mountains. It had been sitting for 30 years in their driveway. We got it running. And we got it driving, we put all new brakes on it. So what it needs now is cleaned up and it needs some casings. So since it needed casings, Coker Tire sent us some Maxxis MA1 185R13. So we're gonna try to get them mounted up in this video. Go ahead and paint the hoops too while we're at it. Big thank you to Coker Tire. I really think they should change their name to Coker Casings, but I'm gonna talk to them about it, okay? I'll put a good word in. Let's get this thing started up, get over here in the driveway where we can clean it up. I can't believe how good that hood opens up. But we haven't drove this thing, I don't know. It's been a couple weeks since we drove it. It's a slant six, it'll definitely run. Scooty, you ready? Outside. Oh, Scooty's already jumped in. <laughs> but he loves hunting rats and mice, so come here, boy. I think it needs a better return spring on that carburetor because it was kind of revving pretty hard there. It wasn't wanting to come back down. Somebody got a little tipsy and wrecked this thing and put two blue doors on it. It's blue even inside the door jams here. They didn't worry about painting them. They just bolted them on there. You okay, Ralphie? Can you get out of there? Yeah. We're going to have to bolt that seat down once we get enough floors to do it. Shoot, we might all do a dirt report over here. It sat here a few weeks and killed the grass so what's funny to me here is these old casings are still holding air and the, the trailer one is completely flat so i'll give you a quick walk around here on this thing got the trailer hitch you know maybe the only reason i bought the vehicle i think it was a northern vehicle because this is a kind of an abnormal amount of rust even for a car sitting outside for that long in tennessee we need to be able to get this lift gate open and we got two doors to open so we're gonna do what we can to try to fix that, but I don't know how much we can do. It has the coolest seats in the world, so that's neat. Got pretty good door panels and stuff, considering uh, 55,000 miles. And the back, the seat fall down. It looks like almost perfect back there, surprisingly. Seats folded down? Yeah, there's a seat back there, bro. Oh. 
We gotta fold it back up. All right, push button automatic. This is a 170 inline six cylinder, slant six, leaning tower power, hillside hemi, whatever you wanna call the thing. Uh, we actually got it pulling out of the factory gas tank. Love the dog dish caps. I think we're gonna paint these hoops red though, kinda like the car. Gotta get all this, uh, whatever this is. Is this what it's lichen? Is this uh, mil I don't know, mold, mildew, lichen, whatever it is. Label. Yeah, 170 badge there. Got a little whiskey doing here in it, but I mean, it's a station wagon. I know it's kind of rough, but it's a station wagon. You gotta save your station wagons, right? Love new casing. Look, look at that white walls, son. Remember, safety first when pressure washing engine. Crocs? Oh my, are you, you just leave me alone. What? I mean, there's nothing wrong with Crocs. Okay, we're gonna try the rarely seen quadruple super clean degreaser approach. Here we go, go. Man, we're gonna be done in no time. Oh. I don't know if this has ever been done. This might be a world record. You're giving it the beans? You say that all the time. She cleaned up pretty good. Look how nice the apron and stuff is over here now that it's cleaned up. That 65 dart, when we cleaned it up, it cleaned up really nice in there too. I like the like Smurf blue engine. I guess that's the color the 170 was. But uh, you can see how much heat they get around the carb with the exhaust bolted up right there. And, you know, spilled fuel. But yeah, it actually looks really nice there. It looks really solid. All this looks like it's not rusted out. It's funny how they made a pocket for the alternator because the engine lays over so far. Yeah. Um, I feel like they should have put like more, like the distributor and stuff over here. Yeah, like, yeah. At least the distributor. Yeah, it's kind of a funny way they did it, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of hidden down there. Yeah. All right, now we're going to pressure wash the outside. I really think this bumper is going to clean up nice. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of incredible. The cars we get that are in terrible shape, but... You know, the front end, the grill and stuff's in great shape. Mm -hmm. Seems like they're usually uh, got good grills and stuff, but we're gonna pressure wash what we can and then we'll hand wash this thing with some bleach after that.
going, sir.
goes John. We probably need another moment of silence for our <laughs> pressure washer. I can't believe this thing has lasted this long. There's no telling how many cars we pressure washed with it, is there? Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. Look at all Rocky's babies over here. Those two look almost <laughs> just like him. It actually cleaned up decent. Like it was really fun to see all that green stuff come off of there. Yeah, it really cleaned up really nice. I love the big bug eyed look. I really like the big headlights, like the, you know, later 60s Dodge trucks had that same kind of look with the big headlights like that. I wish it was all red, but, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. The primer underneath it's red. And we knew we had some rust in the bottom of this lift gate too. This car definitely has been, had a repaint at some point trying to fix this rust issues. The worst rust I've seen though is right here because inner and outer both got rusted i don't know why it got rusted out so bad in that one spot rocky's over here taking care of the grass that grew up underneath this car while it was parked you know you can always count on rocky to help out i just noticed that our trim is totally different these three panels have different trim than the quarter panel does or the other side does yeah it must have been a different trim level dart that they got the parts off of i absolutely love the roof rack uh, i'm a sucker for a roof rack or a trailer hitch on a station wagon especially how many ammo crackers can he eat you think now what we're going to do next is we're going to spray this thing down with bleach and then we're going to hand brush it and wash it off because that that's going to get a lot of this you know black that didn't come off the first time and the streaks uh, off this thing i really love the indentions in the roof and the body lines in the roof i just love stuff like that is that green? I don't know what that green is. I saw that too. Uh, maybe somebody touched it up trying to stop the rust with some green. I really like it. You like it? Yeah. I think we need to turn down the torsion bars a little. Let her settle some more. What do you think? Yeah. She's got the bleach. Good job. It's got some runs there, doesn't it? I didn't know you knew how to wash your car. <laughs> you can just drive it through, pay them $7. Yeah, and... yeah it's a little different than just driving through. <laughs> Have you ever cleaned the car with Crocs on? <laughs> Have you ever cleaned the car with Crocs on? This guy's jokes. <laughs> I'm buy him off Crocs. You're doing such a great job, honey. Thank you. Think you should keep it? You think I should keep everything, though. Lay right down the middle, she got the better half. You don't want my music? I've never even heard that song. I've not raised you up. Uh -huh. There's a lot of people that just tune into the show just to hear me sing, though. Is that a true statement? Doubtful. Off brand Garth Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> Off brand. He's wish. He's the wish version. We got our Dawn dishwashing liquid in this. That's what I like to use on these old rough paint jobs. I mean, if it's good enough for baby ducks, it's gotta be good enough for dark, right? <laughs> this thing was dirtier than the showers at summer camp. I love how you say a joke and we're so used to you yeah, being like laughs. that, that nobody even laughs, it's just like nobody crickets. Laughs. Oh, so bad. Here, try it now. Nope. Nope. Oh, sorry. Sorry, honey. <laughs> Look at the brown water coming off of this. You look so nice in this thing going to school. Probably not, actually, but... You got any Crocs? Yeah, I do, actually. Me and Mom share a pair. Oh, wow. You wear a size 12, too? You gotta be sleeping outside. Here, I need you a video. No. Here. 
Get your skill. Look at all the paint chips on the ground. It's funny that like the back is so rusty, but this fender's like perfect as far as rust goes. You know, front end's not too bad rusty at all. I don't understand the doors. Like, look, this door is not really rusty at all, but then the quarter's done. You video me? Oh. Yes, you are. Oh, my. Y'all put a fake snake in this car. Exactly what you did. It went under the seat when you were pressure washing. Look at that. Y'all put a fake snake in the car. He's telling me, hey, dude, how's the seat fold up? I don't know how it folds up. And I can just tell, I can tell <laughs> that y'all are up to something again. Fake hey, snake. See, when I opened the door, was here with the pressure washer? Yeah, but yes. then I pressure washed the door and I guess it went under the seat. Oh, my gosh. Y'all always try and scare me with a snake. It's really looks good. Yeah. Considering. Considering, yeah. I kind of like the paint like it is. And look, even the rockers are solid. That's what's I funny. I was too windy. Oh no, longer clips. Oh, wait. you cut me off. What the heck? <laughs> Sun's getting low in the sky, and what does that mean? Jeopardy. Time for Jeopardy. Here. Ew. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh, oh that was tough. Well, it's the next day. I've been up for a couple hours. Mom's been up for mere moments. Seriously. And uh, we're actually getting some new casings on our trailer this morning, but we're going to also try to get some paint for this Dodge so we can paint these hoops. It's never safe to bring my wife into Lowe's. No, not at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Something like this on a grinder is going to work really good. Though. That's pretty close up there, yeah. That would be kind of perfect. Glossy. glossy, not glossy. No. Glossy, glossy. glossy. Not glossy. So many choices, so many choices. We're back home now. Ralphie's finished his sucker, but look at all the stuff out here from yesterday. All the paint chips and stuff. I mean, that's what I survived on as a kid in the playpen, just eating paint chips. You know, playing with my toys. Look at that though. I can't believe how much paint ended up on the ground. I think this darker red is the original color, and this is what they painted over. It's just falling off of there now. But So now we're going to get the clean on the interior. It's not terrible. As you can see, it's not terrible as far as being dirty. We need to try to get some more of these doors open. I don't know how successful we're going to be. We haven't had good luck with that in the past. We're going to have to get better at that, aren't we, Ralphie? Yeah. All right, get that key, and let's see if we can open the lift gate. You're scaring me to death with that key. So this key is not a door key. Now, Ralphie's pretty dorky. Maybe I can get inside and open it from the inside with a handle. We'll try that. Did he talk you out of some animal crackers? Yeah, that's him a good boy. Well, yeah, but it will roll down. I don't know if we can get these screws out. I was going to say, you can probably get these screws out and get to it. How do these doors get stuck like this? Try the outside button. Oh, Rocky's found the bag. You can't leave nothing around you. Clean that up so I don't have to vacuum it. I don't know if we're going to have any luck with these doors. Oh, we got it, buddy. So in the glove box, it says 64 dart wagon, 53,700 miles, motor and transmission installed, new oil and filter, thermostat antifreeze, all new fuses in fuse panel, brakes adjusted, bulbs, air filter, oil filter, transmission, and filter, tailgate hinge, welded and greased. He took care of this thing. Let's see, that was, has 55,000 miles now. So they don't, 2,000 miles before it got parked, he put a new motor and transmission in it and, and did all the tune-up stuff. Nope, nope, it's not food, it's paper. That's not food either. Give it a kick, Ralphie. It's not moving when you do that. It doesn't even look like it's latched. It's so far open. Mom's gonna kick it now. It definitely seems like it's latched. Golly, look at that stomp she's got. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's working. The window probably has to be rolled down for this to come open. Not, I think you have to have the key to roll it down. 
It's not doing anything. It's like it's not connected anymore. It's <laughs> pretty good, huh? Oh, oh, there she goes. Man, she, you see how she drifts? <laughs> She's so fast. This is not okay. No, no, no. So I'm gonna try to take the screws out of this and see if we can get this window to roll down. And... Well, I see some worms, which is uh, what Bondo looks like when it goes through rusted out holes. And we got a rat's nest down here, so that's good. Hopefully there's no S and AKEs in here. So I'm gonna take the bolts out that hold the regulator to the frame and see if we can lower the window that way. I hope this does something right. Hey, that's doing something there. I think it'll fall down and slice my fingers off at least. Wait, hey, we got down a little bit. I think it just slid the regulator down though. The last thing I want to do is break this glass. So these little tiny metal clips that you probably can't buy anymore, looks to be what's holding the glass to the regulator. So if we pull them off, I think we can push, maybe push this regulator pin back through like that and drop the glass down that way. Once it breaks. I hope it won't. Should be able to go down now. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's scary. Okay. I think we got it. We moved the regulator out of the way. Now we just gotta get this latch to open up. Look at that. Oh. Woo. Wow. Isn't that cool? It's got a tailgate like a truck, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. PB Blaster, that's what, that's the secret. I kind of want to keep it now. Oh, you're coming around the station wagon loft? Well, I just love the tailgate. You gonna do the honors of seeing what's under there? Hey, it's, that's a pride. Look how solid the trunk floor is. Yep. Why are the quarters so rusty? It has to be salt. So the first thing I like to do on an old car cleanup that has a bad headliner is rip the headliner down. Cause if you do a bunch of vacuuming and then you pull the headliner down and you basically are gonna be starting over. So I'm gonna tear this down. Uh, we can go cross country now. Freedom haulers. <laughs> I should have bought four of them. <laughs> I can't pull the headliner out if you don't get out of it first. Just a little nibble. Quit, that's not good for you. This stuff is probably super brittle. Oh, I'm gonna be so nasty. I reckon there's these things up there. No, they better not be. Oh, this is awful. I'm just gonna pull these bows down. We're gonna keep the bows. Since if we ever put another headliner in, we'll have to have them. It's funny the way they put these old headliners in. Maybe we can keep the visors on there. Might need them. I wish we could get this door open. Yeah, you want to keep the bows because they ain't making no more of them. We don't own very many old cars with headliners in them, do we? Mm -mm. I'm gonna get some of this big stuff out now by hand that fell out from the headliner. I'm not sure what this is made of, but I'm gonna say it's probably not OSHA approved anymore. You know what that is, Ralphie? Uh, air jack? Close, it's a <laughs> washer jug. All right, we're gonna get our rat's nest out of here now. Gross. Why do they love living in cars so much? Oh, yeah, it got baked, didn't it, Ralphie? Yeah. Get some of this big stuff out of here. Hey, you need a comb, Ralphie? Yeah, I'll take it. Here you go. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's like the, I don't know what that's called. Like It's like ceiling tiles or something. The metal panels they put on ceilings and stuff sometimes in old buildings. I'm going to use this comb. No, you're not. I washed it off with the water. That is not clean. You got to clean it with like alcohol first. So this seat is just sitting in here. Ow. Let's see what kind of nightmare is under there. Are you stepping on concrete? <laughs> yeah. 
There's a vine. I love this seat though. It has the coolest seat cover. Maybe we can get it cleaned up. Yeah, let's clean that up. Not incredible what kind of condition that seat's in. Look at the back of it. I mean, the back of it's like perfect. That looks to be original there. Yeah. So we got pretty much a floor nightmare here. So we are definitely going to have to figure out about floor pans for this thing. Look at that. Ooh. Hello. Uh, we might just take these. We might just leave those right there. They do make floor pans for the body style after this. I don't know how close they would be if they would work. But I haven't found floor pans for this yet. You're going to cut your leg, boy. How have you not found them? They're on the sides of the road. What uh, the heck? Oh, that's right. Them road signs. We get, That's all we need, isn't it? Yeah. How is this floor still good? funny to me that this this floor is super solid even all the way up there but the quarters and the front floors are garbage <laughs> They're easier. There you go. Oh Lord. What is under there? Oh my God. We're getting out so in case there's a snake. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Let's say I have some 7 16 bolts in here. Usually they're not bolted in. Let's see what's under here, Ralphie. Oh wow. Oh, that's a lot of nuts. Yeah. Well, here's the build sheet. Man, I don't think I can pull it out of there without. Hey, you want me to? No, Hurting it or not? Pull it up. So we'll have to look up these codes. It says 817's the engine. Is that a 9 or is that an 88? I think it says 88 to trans. 63 for the radiator. We got a little Debbie. Little Debbie snack pastry for 25 cents. Oh, another cone? Sweet. Score. So it had a rubber floor mat in it originally. Definitely squirrel action here. Man, no money at all. They had a nice little home here in this back seat, didn't they? Luxury condo. Yeah, they had a good run. comments i don't know what that's exactly called i've seen it on houses before this guy had to be related to me that's something i'd do for sure
You always want to vacuum your torsion bars too. You want to get them good and clean. Don't you love those old cup holders there for the drive-in picture show? Yeah, we got some really rough floors here. It definitely needs complete floor pans, bottoms of the quarters, bottoms of the lift gate. But then the rest of the car is solid. That's what's so confusing about it. It's really odd. What are you doing? I think if you will help me. You're going to scratch it up? Really? I can't believe how far open it you is. You can see the thing in there. Yeah. You have to be able to do this. Yeah. Look, don't it just do like this? Yeah. Well, since this door that won't open, the panel is already garbage. Yeah, uh, it's already got all the vinyl off of it. We're going to peel this back and see what we can do with it. Uh, yeah, I'll get a comment. You ruined that door panel. That was a good salvageable door panel. What does that do? Maybe we can work on this a little bit and get it. Slowpoke Jones over there, told him to get a PB blaster. Take your time. This is what you do when you're trying to lift the car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't see unless I, I have to see over my glasses because I got bifocals. So maybe we can hold this up and get this last door to open here. What is that? Ooh, it's a skull. <laughs> what is a squirrel skull or a rat skull? Look, I think it's a rat, isn't it? the teeth Gosh, we'll have to mount that on the wall that's the rest of its body isn't it get it oh look that's its ribs dun, and that's its dun, head dun, dun, oh my gosh we have a skeleton in here can you get it what about the lock rod yeah, i think the lock mechanism is broke that's the problem we'll let that soak for a while and see what we can do maybe we can get it freed up before the end of this Houndstooth? I love it. Please. We got the whole crew out here to help now. We're going to do the seats and door panels and glass real quick and we'll be done with the cleanup process. Right? Yeah. Squeezy. Put hands in the middle. Yeah. Quit! Don't spray me! God. Look how nice this is up here. I wish these door panels didn't have so much heat and water damage because they actually look really nice. The color is still in them. Look at all the black coming off that. I love how all these old cars, it's all painted metal interior. Oh, it's good there. Yeah. I like the gauges and stuff. They actually look like they're in pretty good shape. Look how clear that lens is. It's actually cleaning up really nice. I couldn't believe that these buttons still work considering how long they've been sitting. I didn't think they would work, honestly. Even in a new car, I still call it a cigarette lighter. Back when men were men and smoked cigarettes and died at 50, they didn't have to charge their phone. The phone was plugged into the wall. Did you clean all the windows? Yeah. Did you do them or not? <laughs> 
Okay, if you say you did them all, it looked pretty She's clean. She's confessing now, Dad. What? I don't know. Is this one clean? It doesn't even seem like it's brittle. Good job, guys. Thanks for helping me. to bolt this thing too until we get some floors in there. So Eagle Eye Ralphie here spotted that we do have a little cross members for the seats to bolt to. So we're gonna try to actually bolt the seat in. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? We'll go down. Um, well, I can't uh, see it. Back, so. back, go back. I got it. Come on, push it this way. I push think it's it. it. No, it's not, it's not. I promise you it's not. This why I don't like our cars. I'm done. Here, let me, there. let me get in there. Let me get in there. Solid now? Yeah, geez, wow. Feel pretty good? Yeah. Now I can actually do it. I work on switching my casing belt. That one's only flat on the bottom. Yeah. See? Yeah. See? It's only flat on the bottom. I'm just going to re-rank it. I really like this one. I love the old tread design. Okay, we've moved base command over here to the Casing Killer 9000, our $40 casing machine. So we're gonna see if we can change these out by ourselves. You think we can? Yeah. Oh yeah, we can do it. There we go. There we go. That wasn't hard at all, Ruffy. No. That hoop is super small. Yeah, we'll measure it. It's probably five by 13. Casing. Now I know you don't have the arm ab, but you got enough donkeys to break that with that Ralphie power. Of course you do. Look at that. You broke it down. Man, it's really stuck. Look at all that water. That was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Like this this may be the best forty dollars I ever spent, you know? Probably except for that case of I bought at Costco that time. That's probably a better $40 I spent. So we have two wheels here that match each other there. We got two that match each other here. So tell me in the comments what, which one's correct for the car. I'm not sure, but I guess we're gonna put two of them on the back and two of them on the front. So Ralphie's dying to wire brush these. You know how much he likes cleaning stuff mm -hmm. up. <laughs> this one right here is like, seriously pitted and in terrible shape right here and then some of these are like perfect like the inside's absolutely perfect it's funny to me that there's bare metal with with no rust at all on it inside here like that that's funny as long as this thing's sad never rusted this thing right here works really good that's what it's called they got them at lowe's if you want one you better catch this. Woo! Ralphie says we need to put some degreaser on these. It's all about some cleaning. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Turd. Think they're ready to paint, Rob? Yeah. Uh, I would probably get a little closer than that. Do it like this, like in a circle like uh, that. And we're not trying to cover it in one coat. You just want a little bit of a base to it before you start really coating it. Oh, you, you'll get it. That good. I'll do it. 
Oh, is that too much or? You're doing good. Well, we got them all painted now. We put ended up putting three coats on them, and we're going to let them sit out here in the sun on the old Galaxy wagon hood. Let them bake. We'll probably come back to this tomorrow. We need to let them dry so they don't get scratched up when we mount the casings on them. What if it rains? We'll move them. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now, look who's jealous over here. Rocky's jealous. He wants you to rub his belly, Ralphie, yeah. I think. No. No? <laughs> So the sun has went around the earth a full time since we videoed. We let this thing dry for a while and we're gonna reveal it to the, the girls here. <laughs> See what they think about the, the hoop. Like it? Good. Yeah, looks pretty good, doesn't it? Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wawa did a good job picking out the yeah, color. Pretty good. I pull this thing into the rim. Hey, there's no problem at all. Well, he's gonna eat mama's plants. Now, if you guys want to buy some casings just like this, you can go to Coker Tire's website in the description below. White walls out, right? Yeah. Has to be white walls out. You can't go black walls out with this car. There we go. So it's best to take the core out. It just helps you seat the bead better. Scare me every time. Man, look how fancy that is, huh? wasn't that bad was it it didn't take that long that thing right there is worth every dollar i paid for it all right let's go put these things on are you gonna help oh mm. god <laughs> got mom with that one we don't want blue walls we want white walls while i got the hoops off this thing i'm gonna adjust the brakes because the pedal was pretty soft feeling when i pulled it in here i think it's wore some of that rust off the drums it needs to be adjusted out so I was trying to adjust this passenger front brake and the uh, adjuster actually came loose. He was so loose in there it actually spun and came off the shoe. So I'm gonna have to pull this one apart. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you about to have an udder in the face. Crocky, don't eat the seat. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? Our adjuster came loose on one side and it wouldn't allow me to adjust it anymore. Yeah, this one was way loose for some reason. Oh, that's good. Okay, it's going. <laughs> You're going to get a brain freeze. I like to adjust them until I just start having some drag to them. Two things that really help drum brakes is having good new brake hoses and adjusting them. It makes a huge difference. All right, I think we're finally good to put them on here. So anybody that's watched our channel long enough knows we like to lower some vehicles around here. So all you got to do is get a three-quarter socket on this cam bolt for the torsion bars, and you can lower it. And if you don't like it, you can raise it back up later. How many turns do you think, Ralphie? As far as it'll go. Half. One. Three. Let's start with three turns and see what that looks like. So before any of you guys lose total hope in this vehicle, check out this frame rail. Look how solid it is. I mean, the frame is not rusted at all on this thing. It's just the floor, which I realize it's a unibody car, but I mean, the actual frame structure of it is really solid still. Same thing back here, completely solid. We're gonna put the slotted hoops on the front for extra cooling for aggressive braking. Looking good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Love it. 
And I know one of these dots is supposed to line up with the valve stem. I really didn't pay attention when we were doing it. Tell me the difference between the red dot and the yellow dot. <laughs> Love it. She's happy as a pig in mud, isn't she? Yeah, literally. We gotta come up with a better cap than that one. This is the only one that's messed up. Oh, I wonder how much that lowered it. It's my truck. It's our truck. truck. It looks so much better. It really does. It's sitting too high still though. Crank them down. Let's roll it and see what it looks like. I'm gonna roll it, you bounce it, we'll settle this thing. I think our exhaust is dragging. Well, it is sitting a little lower. It looks like it's maybe inch and a half, maybe two inches lower. It looks pretty good like that. What is it, Ellie? No way. There's a snake. Get it, Ellie. There is a snake in front of our house. Oh, man. The nightmare has finally started. This is my biggest fear right here. What Are you going to tame it? What are you doing? What if it's poisonous? What if it's poisonous? You're going to make it mad. It's going to get you, Tosh. Quit. Leave it alone. Yeah, leave it alone. Leave it alone. I think it's a black snake. I did get away. I'm good. <laughs> Look at Rocky. He's like, what is this? A snake? Yes, in the front yard. Rocky, leave it alone. Rocky, leave it alone. Oh, Ooh. God. Get back, baby. Ooh. Get away. Get away. No, no, no Tosh. Hunter, Stop. Crocodile hunter. Crocodile hunter. She's braver than I am, folks. You know, I have much more respect for Ellie now. She, she alerted on that. She saved your life. Like, it's my biggest fear. Did you decide to help Puddin? Oh, oh Puddin. Puddin right now is becoming my favorite goat. <laughs> Alright, let's go fix it. <laughs> you just gotta get the tension right on your zip ties and it'll all work out. Remember, it's not bushing if you cut the ends off. Well, Ralphie, I think we got everything done. We topped off the water and brake fluid, adjusted our brakes. We got new casings. Got hey, what more do we need? We got our luggage in the back. Let's take this thing down the road for the first time in 30 years. The exhaust lets out right under my feet. Oh, of course. <laughs>
A roof rack it's got a trailer hitch runs like a top all the gears work it's great you want to drive it you want to drive it i will crap you want to drive it I will. Yeah. Right. there you go there you go that better oh yeah oh yeah so the gas pedal's a little weird like when you give it gas it kind of hangs there just a little bit and it aisles too high so you want to just do the gas if you want me to i can do it yeah <laughs> Up on the lever, and then push the bottom button. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, it still steers really easy, and it was super smooth going down the road. <laughs> Are you a professional driver now? Turn tight, turn tight, you'll hit the truck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hit 
the brakes hard. Hard. <laughs> it's hot at my feet. Yeah, yeah. It's because the exhaust is under your feet. Yeah. You can really see where you've been. get a stiffer return spring or something yeah him driving down there he about took out the fence it's perfect is it leaking anywhere no it's not exhaust may be dragging but it's not leaking what a great vehicle i mean it looks so good now i love it it looks so good let's finish this one off with the goats i think we're going to start finishing them off out here with all the goats oh you gonna do it on your flop oh you got your flops yeah Ooh. mac jenkins sent him his own flops too so remember guys eat your vianas drink your rc colas what the heck what did i do i don't know what you did it's fine and i just twisted it but you'll probably see more videos of this dart station wagon especially if we can find some floor pans somewhere for it and uh patch panels for the quarter that's the big thing this thing needs so definitely stay tuned we got more station wagons. I've made some deals to even buy some more. So uh, we got about 20 project vehicles around here. Something for everybody, every kind of brand. You can check out our second channel. Sleepy Dude 2. Yes. And Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok is. Sleepy Dude 88. Exactly. Ah. Oh, you want your vineyards? Sorry. Ooh, Rocky wants his vineyards too. Here you go. Oh, there you go, Rocky. Back. You can also buy our t-shirts down below. Uh, if you haven't got them already, we got some new ones on there. Whiskey Dent t-shirt, Rocky or Ralphie approved t-shirt. Got the OG Fairmont wagon t-shirts. Uh, gotta get back on the Studebaker. Uh, need to get on the Malibu, the Fairmont. F100. The F100, Ralphie's been waiting on some parts for the F100 for a while. Here you go, Wawa. I really yeah. want, I really Rocky want. Rocky eats them, Ralphie eats them. All the cool kids are doing it. Here. I mean, I do it. We also need to get back on our other 65 dart coupe. I got the brake stuff for it. I just need to put them on there. Got to get some new casings on it to get it drivable. He gets that tongue going a mile a minute. Get that tongue going. Oh, oh he can just taste it. He can just taste it. <laughs> but as always, we really appreciate you guys watching. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Thank you very much. Some RC Cola. Mmm. She loves that RC Cola. That is good stuff, isn't it? You want it? You gonna keep it? <laughs> oh. I can't believe she drinks RC Cola like that. I think she's the first animal who likes her. Yeah, I know. Rocky doesn't like it. He wipes his mouth off in the dirt if you feed it to him. Oh, she wants some more. She's coming back for more. It's empty. It's empty, girl. It's already empty. <laughs> I don't want you to break the glass and hurt yourself. No, I, it's empty. I'll bring you your own next time, okay? <laughs>